Hello everyone, welcome back to Bike Geek. In today's video, I'll guide you through the process of downloading and installing free VMware Workstation Pro 17 for personal use. Let's get started. VMware Workstation Pro 17 is available for personal use at no cost. This information is officially mentioned in the VMware blog. If you plan to use it for non-commercial purposes, you can download it for free. Let me show you how. To begin, head to the VMware Workstation Pro download page. You'll need to create an account and sign in via Broadcom. Click on the link provided in my video description, go there and click on the link. You will be redirected to Broadcom website registration page. If you don't already have an account, create one. For account creation, you can use your personal email or you can use temporary email so you can download the software. We will use temporary mail for this purpose. Go to temp mail website. Copy the temporary email. Now fill all the details so we can proceed further. Verify the email, copy and paste the verification code. Now fill all the necessary detail of creating profile. Scroll down and click on I will do it later button. Now you have successfully created your account. Now we will log in our account. Once you are logged in, use this link, copy and paste it in your browser. I have provided in my YouTube description, make sure your account is registered and you logged into Broadcom website. Otherwise, this link will forward you to Broadcom login page. Now that we're on the downloads page, find the latest version of VMware Workstation Pro, which is currently 17.6.1. Agree to the terms and conditions by checking the box and the download button will activate. Click on download to begin. One last step. We need to fill some additional details for verification purpose. Click on yes. Don't worry, it will not take much time. Also, you can fill whatever you want. After filling all the necessary detail, click on the submit button. Now you can download the VMware. Click on download button. It will take some time to download, depending on your internet speed. Once the download is complete, let's proceed with the installation. Launch the setup file and allow the necessary permissions. Follow the installation wizard. Click Next to start. Read and accept the license agreement by selecting I accept and then clicking next. Choose an installation path or use the default one. Optionally, allow the software to check for updates automatically. Select whether to add shortcuts to your desktop and start menu. Finally, click on install to begin. The process is quick and straightforward. Once the installation is complete, you'll see a VMware Workstation Pro shortcut on your desktop. Click Finish to close the wizard. Double-click the shortcut to launch the software. If you see a message about the subscription license expiring, don't worry. You can continue using VMware Workstation Pro for personal use. This feature is enabled as part of the free offering. From this point, you're ready to create virtual machines within VMware Workstation Pro. If you're new to virtual machines or looking for guides on installing different operating systems, check out the tutorials on my channel. I'll also leave helpful links in the description below. And that's it. You've successfully downloaded and installed VMware Workstation Pro 17 for personal use. I hope this guide was helpful. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing for more tech tutorials and leave any questions or feedback in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.